What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be doing something I wanted to do for a while. Uh, and we're gonna talk about the my top ten, my top ten favorite PS4 games. And I think the best PS4 games of all time. Basically, in this video, I want to point out right at the beginning is there's gonna be some stipulations between this. Um, there's about three or four. The first is I had to have played it. Um, I've had to either have played it in full or intend to playing it in full. Um, but I've had I've had to have it sometime played in it. I've had at least more than two minutes played. I also it will I'm gonna be as biased unbiased as possible, so games like Advanced Warfare, Infinite Warfare, uh, will not be in here because I know you guys know already how passionate I feel about those. And the third is most of these had to have been able to be replayable. That's how I have to say how much replayability they had in them. So, without further ado, let's get into it. So right off the bat, we're going to talk about probably one of the ones you've probably seen me playing the most right now, and it's in the background of the gameplay, that is Call of Duty World War II. Now, a lot of people are going to be in the comments being like, bro, you stupid, man, that's not a good COD game. Trust me, this is one of the best COD games on next gen, that is, um, still has player accounts in it, and still has stuff to grind for for people who haven't finished it. Um, their servers are really good, the lobby's really good. Um, Storyline was amazing, zombies is amazing, maps are amazing, that's all I got to say about it. Number two on the list, Far Cry 5. Um, a lot of people hate on this game, man, but it's an absolutely amazing game. The storyline was phenomenal, gameplay design was phenomenal. Um, and yeah, it just had a lot of replayability, I mean, you can constantly go back and play it. If you did it 100% it the first time through, man, you could do it again, you know, so it's all fun in games. Number three on the list. Grand Theft Auto 5, and I think this one's kind of like on everybody's list, to be honest, um, just because it's been around for so long, and it's been such a good game. Um, again, replayability is endless, I mean, the multiplayer, there's hundreds of cars and hundreds of different ways to play, and storyline, you got at least three different endings you can uh, choose from, um, because, I mean, you got the, you know, you can kill off some people, and you can kill off some other ones, so yeah, amazing game. Number four. Wa Ghost Recon Wildlands. Now, this was a little bit of a hard one for me because I was between Ghost Recon Wildlands and Ghost Recon Breakpoint. But Wildlands, I put way more time into. Breakpoint, I haven't. By the way, let me know in the comments. Should you go would you guys be interested in seeing a fucking huge ass gameplay? Um, either stream on Twitch or do weekly like, daily uploads with it over on YouTube or Twitch. Let me know of that game. I haven't beaten it yet, and I wanted to beat it, but I I just kind of been holding off. But yeah, so Grand Theft Auto Wildland, I, Ghost Recon Wildland, sorry, um, is taking him the fourth on the list just because I beat the game almost, I beat the game, um, and I have played the online, and I, I just really enjoy the game. There's still a lot that I could play still, so that's why I'm putting it on the list. Number five, Battlefield 1. So I was kind of determined if I wanted to put on a Battlefield game on this because of uh, the whole Battlefield vs. Call of Duty thing. But I really truly do love Battlefield 1, As even as a cop player, I truly do love it. So, let me know in the comments what you guys think about Call of Duty Battlefield, what y'all think. Um, Battlefield 1 had an amazing story, amazing multiplayer, and it did an amazing job of telling the story of World War 1. Number 6 on the list, Titanfall 2. Um, now, I'm not counting Apex Legends, because I don't, I'm not counting any BRs. BRs are not allowed on this list, because BRs aren't really... Uh, in my opinion, really good games are usually just games to suck you into buying things on. But, um, Titanfall 2 is because Titanfall 2 is an amazing, 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 amazing game, man. It is a phenomenal work of a shooter, and I honestly, um, am so proud to have been able to play, uh, Titanfall 2. Um, the storyline's amazing. It's really, is really touching and heart feeling. It, you can really feel it in your heart when you're playing the game, and the PvP is absolutely phenomenal. I mean, the movement systems, everything's amazing. And DLC isn't too bad, so that's that. Number seven on the list, Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Now this is one I was really torn, like I mean torn, torn, uh, between Assassin's Creed Odyssey, Assassin's Creed Origins, um, and the up and coming game Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Now the only reason I'm not including Valhalla is because again it's not out yet and I haven't had my hands on it. Um, Odyssey and Origins, I'm about both of them about 70 to 80 percent done with the game. But I, like, I enjoyed the time period of ancient Egypt, but I really, 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 really liked the uh, Odyssey. I just really liked the storyline, I really liked the time period, really liked the mechanics. 
I've loved all of it, man. It's just, it, it's probably one of my top three, maybe top four favorite games of literally of all time, no matter what the console. So, um, amazing, amazing game, and again, so excited to look out for Valhalla, man. It's going to be an amazing game. Number eight, Detroit Become Human. So, it's a little bit of a recent one. Um, this game came out 2019 and was an absolute banger. Um, I've recently started playing it again, but I've, unfortunately, I've had to stop playing it because of other games that come up, but... Uh, I just love Detroit. Um, I've, I mean, I, I played through it multiple times on on my friends' accounts and all that, and I've watched people play it multiple times, so I really enjoy it. But um, yeah, has great replayability. There's a lot of things you can grind for, and um, overall, excellent game. So number nine on the list will be Destiny 2. Now, I was torn because I don't know if I was supposed to, add, if I wanted to add this or Division 2. Well, they're the two that are battling for this spot. Um, and I think I picked Destiny 2 just because I've beaten the game and I've really enjoyed it. Um, and I was also one of the very first games on PS4, um, besides Call of Duty, that I stayed up for Midnight Launch for. And I played all through the night on Midnight Launch, and it was a school night, so a little bit of fond memories there. Um, so it was a little bit special. Um, but overall, it was a pretty good game. I didn't really care for the DLC and how they handled it, so I don't play it no more. But um, when the first game first came out, it was very, very good. Number 10, the last one on our list, will be God of War. This amazing, amazing game. I've only had a couple, like, an hour of play time on this because I was game sharing. Um, but definitely, man, I love God of War. I love the game. Um, it's phenomenal, and it's only 20 bucks, so you may see that in August. I'm not going to say any you know, promises, but you never know what I'll buy for the next month. So keep an eye out for God of War on the channel or my Twitch. Twitch is XLS Gaming, by the way, down there. Go check it out. That is my top 10 list, man. Um, I want to do a list of the top 10 of my subscribers' favorite games and my clan members' favorite games. So, clan members and subscribers, you guys all want to go down in the comments, let your favorite game titles down there. Um, the more I see the name of the title, um, the more it has chances it has to put in. So, if you have a favorite game you want, you know, to, you know, you want to be in the game, uh, the video, then spam it. If your favorite game is, you know. Grand Theft Auto 5 or your favorite game is Mortal Kombat the new one then you spam that as many times as you want it in the video man and um yeah should be on the next couple days so you guys have a day or two to kind of like decide if you guys want to enter or not um and everyone that enters will be given one free shout out of your, your, your social media of your choice and um as well as if you guys ask comments and ask questions about you know me or video games or YouTube or anything like that or Twitch or what I eat for dinner, or anything you guys want to ask me, leave it in the comments as well. I'll give you a free free shout out. So if you do both, you get two free shout outs. So shout out your Instagram, your YouTube, your Twitch, your YouTube, your Instagram, your Twitter, whatever you want to shout, man, you get a free shout out. And um, yeah, appreciate everyone stopping by, and uh, hope you guys have a fantastic day. And um, yeah, until the next one. It's been your boy. Peace.